Hello and welcome to a ship buyer's guide for the Misk Razor, the latest concept ship and dedicated racing ship. Available for $120 as a war bond sale, which basically means cash only, or $135 if using store credit, the Misk Razor is available until the 26th of December. During that time it comes with lifetime insurance and two pieces of hangar flare as well. This is very much a dedicated racing ship, but in the same way I suppose you could weaponize a F1 car by strapping weapons onto it, you could do that with the Razor and have a paper skirmisher. Misk makes a bid for the next Murray Cup with the all-new Razor. This advanced racer features an advanced composite space frame that puts pure speed ahead of everything else. It's the ship for pilots that want to leave the competition in the dust. It's supposed to be a real contender for racing. High-tech F1 car um, with a bit of Xi'an tech as well as obviously the Misk influences because it is a Misk um, car or spaceship. Uh, it's going to have speed as its main purpose. It's only 11 meters long and super light too. Uh, I don't suspect it will be able to take many shots. It's got a size 1 shield though um, if you want to indeed outfit it with this shield. With the integration of cruise and afterburner into those flight models though, let's remember that we don't know exactly how all of these ships are going to perform and we can't really compare them how they're going to play out over long distances. Are some of these ships going to be really great for stamina? Are they going to be great for sprinting? We don't really know. But expect for races that this ship will be fantastic. It has some um, uh, capabilities for combat as well, uh, like the M50, or very similar to the M50, with two size 2 hardpoints uh, and the access to some missiles as well. Unlike MISC's standard line of commercial freighters, explorers and science vessels, the Razor was not constructed for a working pilot. Instead, it was designed for a singular purpose. Place in the 2947 Murray Cup. Years of advanced aerospace design consultation with Xi'an engineers, partners, and thousands of test flights have produced a racing ship that burns faster for longer. Featuring cutting edge fuel collection systems, uh, minimal cross section sleek aerodynamic lines, and proprietary Xi'an influenced thrusters design, the Razor provides unparalleled speed with MISC dependability and endurance. Previous Star Citizen racing ships have been designed with more of a dual role in mind or as adaptations of existing ships, so the Mustang Gamma and the 350R. The Razor was intended to be a racer from skids, from the skids up, that's its landing system, so skid, skiddiness. Um, <laughs> like the uh, M50 Interceptor, the Razor's natural abilities will make it effective for speed related missions off the racetrack. But unlike the M50, uh, that was a completely secondary concern. This is truly a dedicated racing ship, and if you're after a dedicated racing ship, then this probably will be for you. Expect very strong straight line performance and acceleration, especially when using the afterburner, as well as a good regeneration rate on that fuel. Ship enthusiasts may look at the Misk Razor and think, haven't I seen you somewhere before? The simple answer is yes, but the Razor is anything but simple. The Razor story begins in 2833, when then CEO Cory Desmond decided to try and expand Misk's ship manufacturing focus from heavy industrial ships into lighter, more manoeuvrable ones. He set his sights on the dream of MISC taking the Murray Cup as a definitive way to establish the company's new direction. The result was the Daedalus, although the Daedalus competed, Desmond was never able to see that dream of championships come to fruition. MISC engineers recently decided to resurrect the project, incorporating modern design sensibilities as well as new Xi'an engine tech into the original hull plans and take another run at achieving MISC's unrealized racing aspirations. We are proud to unveil the new MISC Razor. While many may view the Razor's two-tone colour scheme as a bold aesthetic choice, the reality is that the matte black sections of the MISC's new Razor fulfil a very different purpose. Welcome to Proteus, a cutting-edge fuel collection system, part of the original Daedalus ship design and one of the elements that attracted the attention of today's MISC engineers. The Proteus system never quite achieved the levels of efficiency that the original engineers intended. Thanks to developments in shipbuilding technology though, and developed in partnership with Ryland Facility, Proteus is ready. Constructed out of a composite weave, the entire surface area is full of tiny openings that collect hydrogen while in flight. Although the Razor comes with standard fuel intakes as well, the Proteus increases the surface area and collection of these points, allowing you to hit that boost uh, of a speed quicker. I didn't know what to expect hopping into the cockpit of a MISC Razor. I mean, how do you go from a former Starfarer to a racer? When I hit the throttle, I knew very, very quickly. Trevor Human, Murray Cup winner, 29.39.
operator-focused cockpits. So like all MISC ships, operator safety and comfort are equally important as durability and function. Our designers spent months testing various configurations to find the optimal arrangement for operator efficiency, resulting in a cockpit design that's similar, uh, well, familiar and intuitive. The Razer features an OS 4K pilot seat equipped with Neoprex memory foam cushions to provide maximum comfort for longer distances, as well as providing ultimate protection in case of sudden impact. There's only room for a single pilot. We've got an 11 meter length, a 7.95 meter width at its widest point at the rear. Uh, we also have a mass currently 6,900 kilograms, uh, two size two hard points, uh, as well as the missile hard points as well that it suggested that it had, uh, and a landing system of the skids. The Razor is designed uh, to redefine a next generation endurance racer, tapping into two centuries of MISC's award winning uh, engineering experience experience and cutting edge Xi'an technology. The Razor's powerful twin engines along with MISC's Paripuritari uh, Delight Thruster technology provide an incredible combination of power and efficiency. Designed and built at our Ryla facility in the supervision of veteran ship engineer Lia Tuko, I'm sorry if I've said all those names wrong, uh, the Delight Technology raises the bar for fuel efficiency, coupled with Razor's Proteus fuel collection material. It means that you can burn faster for longer. I appreciate the way the ship looks, like a, an F1 car, but for me, I'm not a fan. Racing doesn't grab me in the same way as it does other players. It's possible that this could become one of the best ships for racing though on a variety of tracks, whether they be uh, in space, uh, on planet, or on the ground. What do you think of the MISC racer? Do you love it? Do you hate it? Do you not care? Uh, do you think it's going to be the best racer, or do you think it's going to be outmatched by the 350R and M50? Remember, commenting on any of our Star Citizen videos throughout December gives you a chance to win an Avenger Titan or an 85X with lifetime insurance. We'll take a further look at the Razor as soon as those FAQs have come out too, and we'll answer any of your FAQs, um, so please ask them. Uh, until then, please don't forget to like and subscribe, and I will see you in the verse.